Today we celebrate the feast of Our Lady of the Rosary. It was on the 7th of October 1571 that the great naval battle of Lepanto was fought against the invading Turks. It was to gratefully commemorate Mary's role in this victory that Pope Pius V instituted the feast of Our Lady of Victory on this date. Later popes, in keeping with the fact that the victory was basically the fruit of the Rosary, termed it the Feast of Our Lady of the Rosary. The origin of the Rosary itself dates to a revelation in a vision by Our Lady herself to Saint Dominic, the founder of the Order of Preachers in the 13th century. Pope Leo X accorded the Rosary official approbation in 1520 and went on to declare October the month of the Holy Rosary. The term Rosary comes from the Latin Rosarium that alternately implies a rose garden, a bed of roses, a garland of flowers and a rosarium that has the collection of nice coats. The Rosary as we use it today is a simplified version of the Dominican Rosary which consisted of 15 decades of the Hail Mary to the accompaniment of a meditation on 15 mysteries pertaining to the life, suffering, death and glorification of Jesus and of Mary based on scripture. Pope St. John Paul II through his apostolic letter Rosarium Virginis Mariae of the 16th of October 2002 has added a set of five new mysteries to the Rosary, namely the Luminous Mysteries. The Rosary possesses a great power to enlighten and sanctify those who pray it and according to Pope Pius XII has a special efficacy of intercession. Let these words of St. Louis de Montfort instill in us a desire to follow Jesus more closely by praying the Rosary.